Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis dot structure for XeF2. It's a chemical formula for xenon difluoride. It is made up of one xenon atom and two fluorine atoms. To understand the lowest structure of this molecule, we shall first look at the total number of valence electrons for XeF2. So xenon has 8 valence electrons and fluorine has 7 valence electrons. But as there are two atoms of fluorine, we will multiply this number by 2 which gives us a total of 22 valence electrons for XeF2. Now that we know the total number of valence electrons, we will start placing the atoms and its uh, individual valence electrons. You might be wondering here if Xe already has 8 valence electrons in its outer shell, why does it need to share its electrons with fluorine atoms? The xenon atom here is an exception to the octet rule and it can accommodate more than 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. So uh, we will place xenon in the center because fluorine is more electronegative than xenon. So fluorine atoms will go on the outside and xenon will come in the center. We will place all the valence electrons around all the atoms like this. There will be a single bond between uh, a xenon atom and fluorine atom. So we will show that by drawing a line. And now we are left with uh, two more electrons. So um, we could either make a double bond between uh, F and Xe but this will not be possible because fluorine is like the most electronegative atom and it cannot form a double bond. So what we will do is we will place these two electrons on xenon. So now it has more than uh, 8 electrons in its outer shell and that is fine because as I said earlier it is an exception to the octet rule. To see and to check if this uh, structure is stable enough we will calculate the formal charges for both xenon and fluorine atoms for this molecule. So uh, here is a formula for calculating formal charges and fluorine has 7 valence electrons, there are 6 non-bonding pairs of electrons and there are 2 bonding pairs of electrons. So here the formal charges for fluorine atoms is 0. Similarly, we will calculate the charges for xenon. So xenon has uh, 8 valence electrons, there are 6 non-bonding uh, valence electrons and there are 4 bonding pairs of electrons. So here also we are getting a formal charge of 0. So this is the most stable uh, structure for XeF2 and hence this is the most accepted Lewis structure for XeF2. I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure for xenon difluoride. For more videos on Lewis structure, polarity, molecular geometry of other molecules, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.